officers from all four counties as well as federal and state jurisdictions joined Bishop David M. O'Connell for the 17th annual Diocesan Blue Mass, which took place on Tuesday morning of Easter week in St. Mary of the Assumption Cathedral in Trenton. Brothers and sisters, what a great joy it is on this beautiful day as we continue the Easter celebration to be here with you, to celebrate with you, to pray with you, to be mindful of our fallen sisters and brothers who have gone before us, and to pray for one another that we may continue to observe our mission of service to the community. This is our 17th year, thank God, that the, the Bishop uh, Smith started this in 2000, and uh, Bishop O'Connell has uh, been gracious enough to continue it. Um, it's, it's important because it's a celebration. We have enough memorials. Um, this is while we remember those officers who have made the ultra, um, ultimate sacrifice. Um, it's important to have to celebrate law enforcement. Well, it's a very special honor. I have been involved in the Blue Mass since it started in the year 2000. And this time I came just to come celebrate and show my support to the men and women in law enforcement. We live in strange and difficult times. And it has been a difficult year for law enforcement. It becomes difficult to see the goodness of the Lord. Difficult, yes, but impossible, no. Well, I think uh, having hope and having faith is very important to push on to uh, having uh, every day um, coming to a job that's sometimes not so appreciative these days, and uh, not only monetarily, but also with the things going on in this uh, world and having you know, the, uh, the church behind you, the bishop behind you, it, it's a, a, a nice oomph for the day. The Lord Jesus Christ was also misunderstood and misjudged and rejected and spat upon and hated and put to death for those he came to protect and serve and save. But his tragedy in the eyes of the world became triumph. His defeat in the eyes of the world became victory. His judgment in the eyes of the world became justification and glory. As he pointed out, these are difficult times, and the men and women who wear the uniforms, especially those that are out there patrolling day in and day out, protecting us, it means to them that there is someone out there that cares. Um, I've always said the job that we do is based on caring about people. And when we see other people care about us, then it makes it you know, easier for us to do our job. And when it comes from the highest person in the church, in our, in our diocese, then he's doing God's work, and we appreciate that. Officers go out there every day, and the ones that work in the jails, um, we had a lot of correction officers today, the recruits were there, um, just beginning their career, and I think this really um, hopefully says something to them, uh, that there are people out there supporting them. Uh, times are tough, as the bishop said, and uh, this is a reason I think we need to do this every year, uh, a little way of our, our giving back. My mom right, uh, and my dad, who was the police chief at Trenton, brought me here when I was uh, these guys' ages. And I've been, I've been coming here ever since for the past 40 years. And uh, I had the opportunity to be on a committee this year. And it's a family event because it's going on during the Easter week. Well, I think in this day and time, it's very important to bring religion and to work. Um, you know, having uh, the bishop here is very important. Have, being, having a religious background, I'm a religious lay reader uh, with the Catholic <clears throat> diocese, and I have been since I was in the Marine Corps, so I think it's a very important part of uh, the future of law enforcement, being close with religion. We continue to pray for you as we leave this cathedral, 
that God might be with you, continue to give you courage, strength, wisdom, and good judgment. Ladies and gentlemen, stay safe.